Virginia Dufresne's potential book on her legal battle could clash with Prince Harry's upcoming memoir and contribute to delivering a double blow to the royal family, royal expert Camilla Tomini claimed. Virginia Dufresne's lawyer confirmed she had not signed a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, when she agreed to a settlement to shelve the civil lawsuit she launched against Prince Andrew last year. The failure to sign an NDA has led commentators to suggest Ms. Dufresne may seek to release a book about her legal battle with the Duke of York, which Camilla Tomini expects to be published later this year if the project were to go ahead. Ms. Tomini noted a release this year would coincide with the publication of Prince Harry's own memoir, leaving the royal family potentially facing a double whammy. Speaking to this morning, Ms. Tomini said, I don't know what sort of agreement has been reached. Obviously, the settlement that was negotiated and thrashed out over ten days. In it, he doesn't admit any liability and it was once suggested she wanted him to show some sort of admission of guilt. That's absent. She continued, I think that's interesting, maybe it's part of the whole legal wrangling. She's entitled to speak after the Platinum Jubilee. The timing of that will be interesting because the other thing happening after the Platinum Jubilee is Prince Harry is bringing out his biography. Royal biographer Angela Levin claimed failure to include a clause in the settlement about books leaves the door open for Virginia Jufri to share her experience during her legal battle with Prince Andrew at a later date. She said, it implies there's a lot she wants to say that Andrew will not want to hear. And he can't then attack her. He attacked her through his lawyer but I don't think he'll be able to attack her when she's allowed to say everything she wants to later on this year. A potential book could be released following the celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee during the summer. Prince Harry is also due to publish his own memoir, which he said will discuss his personal experience as a member of the royal family and growing within the institution. Speculation has been rife over the topics the Duke of Sussex may choose to discuss in his book but the Queen's recent announcement about Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall becoming Queen Consort in the future is expected to be widely covered. According to Royal Editor Russell Myers, well it's the battle of the books, isn't it? And I think everybody within the palace walls is really fearing what Harry's memoir will contain. One of the major sorts of plot twists in this is that frenzy according to those close to Harry who has been saying over the weekend that he will lay bare the truth of his relationship with Camilla. My guess is it probably won't be all rosy because they've notoriously had a frosty relationship through the years and now that Camilla is coming to the fore there's been a lot of conversation about the Queen, wanting her to become Queen Consort. And then you know, Harry is very fiercely protective of his own mother's legacy so it's going to be a very, very interesting year. It's never a quiet day in the royal family and this isn't going to be any different. The Duke of Sussex accepted a £14.5 million, .7 million advance for his book, the profits from which he will reportedly donate to charity. However, he has faced criticism for his decision to release the memoir during his grandmother's platinum jubilee year. Harry as well as wife Meghan Markle have not yet publicly congratulated stepmother Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall after it was revealed she will be made Queen Consort when Charles is crowned King. Some experts believe that Harry is reserving his thoughts on Camilla for the book. Sarah Robertson told GB News, the silence in itself spoke volumes and my source told me Harry does have lots to say about it, but that those opinions are being kept for the book deal.